Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, I'll be teaching you about class methods and static methods. By the end of this video, you will have a great understanding about these, and you'll be a better programmer. By the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Caleb Shaw, and I post programming tutorials and other computer-related stuff, so if you are new, make sure you go down and subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss out on future videos. So let's talk about class methods. A class method takes the class as its first parameter. Before, we were passing the instance uh, as the first parameter, but with class methods, we are passing the class. And this allows us to deal with class variables. If you're a little confused at the moment, you will understand when we go through some examples right now. We have our house class, and let's just create a class variable. Let's just write roof equals true. And this is our class variable. And now let's create a class method. So let's do define clean the roof. Okay, and now what we need to do above this is we need to write at class method. And what this does, this at class method, this is what's known as a decorator. And you don't really need to know what decorators do right now, but all you need to know is that this is changing the meaning of this method and turning it into a class method. So in here, instead of writing self, we need to write CLS, which is short for class. And it's just convention to call it CLS. Now we can change the class variables here. Here we'll just write pass. And usually, when we are altering a class method, we would write uh, house.roof equals true equals false. So that's just changed the class method. But here we could also write cls dot roof equals false i'm just going to rename this to my method in fact let's actually do uh, let's pass roof here and then cls dot roof equals roof and then when we call it we'll do house dot my method and then the roof let's make it false so what this does when we're calling it the class this time because it's a class method Instead of the instance being passed automatically, we're passing the house automatically because it's a class method. And this is what CLS means. So we're passing house here. So this parameter is equal to house. So house.roof equals roof. And roof is equal to false. And then when we print out house.roof, we get false because it's been changed like that. Okay, so we have learnt about instance methods that take the instance as a parameter. We have learnt about class methods that take the class as a parameter. Now let's learn about static methods. Now, static methods don't take anything automatically. They don't take an instance, they don't take a class. So basically, they're like a regular function, but we include them as part of a class because they are linked with a class and it would make sense to have one there. So let's create a static method, so let's just get rid of this. And we start with a decorator, static method. And this just lets Python know that this method coming up will be a static method. So let's define my method. And we don't have to have any parameters here. And we can just print, this is my static method. There we go. And then how about we make a method called leave house. So define leave house. And then the parameter, we don't need to have self or CLS or anything, we could just have time of day. And then we'll print leaving house at time of day. And let's turn this into an F string. Oh, F string. We don't need to pass the instance, or we don't need to pass the class, because it is a static method. And we are writing this method inside of a class because it makes sense and it's related to the house, but it doesn't actually deal with the class or instance directly. So if we just do house dot leave house, and then time of day, let's just make it 2pm. Then we'll run that, leaving house at 2pm, and we can also, we can either do it with the instance of the class, it doesn't matter, so we could do house, or we could do house1. Now, people often create class methods or instance methods when they should be static methods. And you can tell whether it needs to be a static method when it doesn't deal with the instance of a class. So here, in this method, we aren't dealing with uh, self or CLS. 
So that means it should be a static method. So basically, if you're writing a method that doesn't have self or CLS in it, it needs to be static. So that's pretty much it for class methods and static methods. These are just different types of methods that we can use. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. I will always reply to you guys. If you would like to support me, all you have to do is give this video a like. It really does help me out. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe. I post programming tutorials and computer content almost every day. That's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.